Hello everybody, I am Brave19 and welcome to episode 1 of a brand new series. Here on the channel we're playing some more season 2 of Empire Total War. Before we get too deep into it, I'd like to ask you all to make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and commented on these as we'll be releasing them daily on the weekdays at noon Eastern. But anyways, let's move on to the grand campaign. We're going to be doing Spain, if you couldn't tell already. And uh, that's because Spain was the second highest voted for nation in our recent poll. Um, so basically, we're going to be choosing Spain, uh, who is kind of spread out. Um, we have some considerable holdings in the Americas as well as in Europe. We're fairly strong there as well. Our uh, victory conditions are to capture and hold 35 regions by the end of the year 1799, including the regions shown. We want Naples, Portugal, Austria, Flanders, Netherlands, Spain, Curaçao, Morocco, Lombardy, Gibraltar, Texas, Trinidad, and Tobago. Um, we have nine total regions, though. Uh, here in Iberia, uh, we have Spain, Gibraltar, Naples, Sardinia. Uh, I believe this is Milan, um, Flanders, Florida, Cuba, and Hispaniola. Um, we also have a protector out here called New Spain, uh, who will provide stuff later on. If you guys care to read this, I'm going to slowly go over the description. Just take a pause, take a look over it, you know, whenever you feel like it. And there you go. I figure that's enough. So let's go ahead and get started. Your first priority should be to protect your European possessions outside Spain itself. Flanders, Milan, Sardinia, Naples, and Sicily are under threat from Protestants in the north and marauding Muslim powers in the Mediterranean. You will need to expand your armed forces in order to protect them. The heretic United Provinces have already risen up and reclaimed part of their homeland. It may only be a matter of time before they move against Flanders, so building up your forces there may also be wise. Although, try to avoid provoking the French or British in the process. In addition to its European possessions, Spain should also maintain trade routes to its Caribbean colonies, at the same time protecting them from both the United Provinces and Britain, who are very active in the region. Given the chance, rogue states such as these will cut you off from a major source of your wealth. So destroying their activities here may be the way forward. Okay, so you heard her. She's pretty much telling us that the problems lie with Flanders, some of the stuff that we have in Italy, um, of course, Morocco and, you know, relations in Europe, as well as there could be some issues out here with our colonies that we have to prepare for. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, I'm prepared to like not care about any of this stuff. Um, just building up some units would be nice, but uh, it's not the most important thing for me. Go ahead and pull these navies in, just because I don't want them getting caught out. Um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and send this navy down here. That should maybe stop any crossings that the Moroccans try. Let's go ahead and pull... This guy across. We'd like to go ahead and start converting Morocco over because that's going to be kind of like my first major war goal. We want to go south across there. Um, let's take a look at my armies here. Line infantry and demi cannons. We're going to go ahead and set our research onto the plug bayonets. Um, I'm going to try to just kind of work down the lines right off the bat. Um, there is this up here. I'm not even going to really necessarily worry about it. We're going to infiltrate this. Thank you. Um, hmm. Just taking a look. If I really, I'm going to keep these guys around just in defense. I don't really care for anything else. Just defense is more important. We will go ahead and, well... There's Salamanca. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and kind of look a little bit around to see what all could be done. Everything could definitely use the governor's residence. But I'm thinking that my taxation isn't even going to be important. What if I pulled back? Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of taxation. And the Americas, I'm not making a whole lot anyway, so let's just make them super happy out here. Let construction be handled. Oh, I should probably do that over here as well. All right. Oh, and then before we do this, let's take a look at our ministers. 
We are an absolute monarchy. We get negative 20 thanks to Carlos to diplomatic relations and minus two prestige to turn per turn because of him. So he's not a good ruler. Uh, we have a first lord. Zero prestige. He doesn't really give us anything. So we could look for somebody for there. Um, lord Chancellor. He is a plus one percent bonus to global tax, plus two percent to growth. Okay. No good to repression. Army and land units are cheaper. Recruitment costs there. And then the guy over the Americas. Okay. Stall holder. Okay, a jughead. Another jughead. Industrial. Okay, so treasury. Morally impaired, so okay. Not anything good there. Morally impaired, yeah, we don't want that. Bon vivant. We're going to rise him to the head. Give us some diplomatic relation and plus per turn town wealth. Okay. Jughead here. He's pious and a jughead too, so he's just young. This guy would be great in like a treasury roll. This guy's a stall holder. There you go. That's better. Um, this guy's tactician. I feel like he'd probably be better than this guy, though. Yeah, it didn't really help in the long run. Um, I'd be better off just putting a jug head in place. All right, um, that did change a little bit. Nothing major. Now let's go ahead and see if we can get some diplomatic relations. Um, whoever we can work with. We're at war already with the Barbaries and the Cherokee, um, as well as the Plains Nations and the Pirates. Okay. Who would be good people to work with? Portugal, not so much. Morocco, not so much. So that doesn't really matter. And we really can't work with anybody else. So we've already done all we can. If I did some recruitment, I would just be looking at line infantry, um, maybe some regiment of horse. Okay, we already have one, so... Demi cannons are important, but they're not going to be useful later. So let's go ahead and disband this. There's two, three, four, five. One more. I can't spend any more. Oh, wait. I did have an army out here I didn't see. Hmm. Might take him out. Oh, I can't get across there yet. I didn't realize I had a guy down here. Really and truthfully, get rid of this. Yeah, it's fine. Um, he's not going to be very useful. So I'm just going to do that. And there's this guy out here. Go ahead and sit inside Milan. There's nothing down here, but I could fix this up. It's good to know. Look over here. You probably don't aren't needed. And you guys probably aren't needed either. I don't really expect anybody to attack me down here. I am going to keep these guys around just because they might be able to stop the Cherokee if they ever try. Um, 
Anything in the home region that could be worked on? Of course there is. You're a doctorate, so you get research. Okay. Devout, so you get... Okay, plus two to zeal. Okay. I think at this point, we just want to work on... Yeah, peasant farms is all I can really afford. All right, guys, well, that's the first turn. Let's go ahead and end it. Movements by France. I don't really care if I lose uh, Belgium and Flanders early or whatever. I just don't care about that. That's fine. That's one less place for me to worry about. Same with Florida. Um, it's not great, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Just hopefully I don't lose my Italian stuff. Okay, they seem to be pulling back. Yeah, they're going to be a nuisance. The Barbaries are always a nuisance. They're really attacking trade. And there's the Pirates. They're a nuisance as well. Great. Building farms here will help the population to grow. So basically, this is saying if we capture Trinidad and Tobago, Texas, and Curacao, they're going to want us around, and they're going to let it. They're going to change New Spain over to us. Meanwhile, I am going to come right here and click that just because it was open. War was declared between Prussia and Austria, Poland and Austria, and then we had our forces built. Some of them, at least. We're still recruiting. We have four more to go. One, two, three. Yep, that'd be four more. Um, we probably could get away with two. Because eventually we're going to have a can you know, some cannons in this group. So why worry about it all, right? Um, the Opera House is important. We'll work on an infrastructure. Anything down here that can be done? No, you have a church school already. Look over here. Um, that would be nice, but it's not really important. Let's go ahead and get some roads around here. Basic roads. Move him here. We saved that. Um, okay, I think we're good. There's nothing else to do. I have no money, so it doesn't really matter. Um, unless there's like something that can be done for like 500. Doesn't appear to be. Let's go and take a look at our new ministers. Army and industrial. So you've been great. There you go. Some recruitment cost. Yeah, this guy's just all together not great. Stall holder. This guy's better. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, actually wait. Am I getting anything from this minister of the Americas? He's a patron. He should be over the Navy then. Agrarian, so he's a little bit more management there. Okay, then army. I mean, we're getting... Oh, I just got rid of somebody that was... <laughs> You know, good for us, but that's okay. Any Diplo relation I can take? Just with Portugal, who's become unfriendly. Um, I don't really see anything for me to do. 
shipyard's important there. For now. Eventually, I'd like to get this changed over. There's no other trade cities. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, in the turn. Nothing we can do, right? There you go, Britain. Thank you for clearing some pirates out of the way. Uh, looks like the Dutch are going to stay inside Amsterdam and deal with some uh, of these pirates for me. We'll worry about the Dutch later on. They're just not something I care about this exact second. Thank you for you for trying to clear up more lands for us. All right, things are looking fun there. Um, 58 and 25, we will... I could attack them. We have a galleon and a brig. Which is probably better than their thing, but you know what? I'm going to decline the attack. I don't care. They're not really hitting me. There is unused land suitable for plantation. Gentlemen in Spain. We'll send him here to get to work. Oh, uh, they're talking about Captain Kid. The peasants were done. Successful missions and recruitment. This guy has an, is an aide to camp. Let's go ahead and start uh, marching these troops down. They're going to cross over and take out Morocco. Hopefully. Um... Take a look at my infrastructure options. There you go. You're already doing that. You're doing that. Good. We'll get you to do that. Where? Oh, wait. Yeah, we don't want to do Florida. We just don't know what's going to happen there yet. And cobbled roads here. Let's take a look to the north. I think iron workshops are important. That's a gain of 200 region wealth. Yeah, it's definitely more, but you get more town wealth. Oh, the weaver. We're going to go with the weaver then. This guy is plus two, plus one. This guy's got nothing. So guess what? You're going to come back here. You're going to focus here. Cancel move. Um, I want to get these guys ready to walk in there. We don't have anything else to do yet. Yeah, we're already starting to convert, which is great. Great news. In the turn, nothing to do right now. Um, I don't see anything that's really worth going after. We need some more trading ports, really, so we can start building out trade relations with everybody around us. Savoy is going to declare war on me. That's a really weird thing to see. Um... Let's go ahead. We're not going to call anybody in. If they just want to sit there and stare at me down, that's fine. At least for right now, it's fine. If I lose parts of Italy, I'm not going to lose my mind either. Um, that's The entirety of Italy is on the menu for me. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international trade. Where is this at? Oh, plantations up here that aren't good for me. It's somewhere I can't really defend, that's why. 
It would have been fine otherwise. Okay. We're going to move this guy to Morocco. Um, declare war. And we'll move him down to here. He has no wall, but he has a lot of men, so we are going to siege. And then I'm going to spend my money on the iron workshop here. Okay, let's end the turn. All right, France, you're not doing anything. Just going after the... Okay, the Barbary's good. The idea is that hopefully we'll have great trade relations with everybody. That we don't want to fight. Um, but I'd like to own like all of Iberia. And pretty much all of Western Europe, besides maybe Britain. Um, I don't know how I want to handle the British yet. Oh, they're going to try to find out. 714 against 1569. Let's do it. All right, here we are. We have uh, a very modest little army here. Let's see what we can do with them early on. Um, actually, we're on the defense, so we should probably keep them in a defensive posture. That looks good. Um, we'll take these two out here. This guy right here in the deployment. Yeah, how about no? Let's just see what happens. We're going to let them move towards us. Hopefully we won't have to really worry about them trying to uh, move around my flank. They're coming to us. There's no way to walk through here. Move these guys to here. There are quite a few of them. Good news is they should, yeah, if they all hit me square on, I should be okay. You gotta be really careful though, because we are facing like camel nomads and stuff. Some artillery would have been great though, just to be plugging away at them. Okay, they're still moving forward. Terrain over here is not the best. These guys are coming out this way. As long as these guys don't plug through here, I'm alright with it. Camel Nomads, Desert Warriors, Barbary Pirates. Go here. Let's go here. There we go. Going to hit them around the sides there. We need to get them to run because these horses are going to get frightened very fast. Come on. There you go. Broken and shattered. A lot of these guys are coming on straight on to get uh, attacked. Let's set up right. Horses should... Yeah, we only lost four guys attacking all those. We look to be shattering a lot of these. Breaking those. All right, move forward.
Move these up. Move forward so you guys can give them a hand. A lot of broken guys that are shattered too. We're destroying these guys shattered. Shattered. Run to position. These guys are broken. They're wavering. They're ready to fire. There you go. Hit them from the side. Fall back. There's a general's bodyguard. Let's go for him. We're going to slice through and hopefully hit the general's bodyguard in the rear. As well as some of this armed populace. Oh yeah, they're all feeling it through here. Shattered, shattered, broken. Kill the general. He will no longer be a threat. I think that's all of them. Yep, they're all running. Yeah, as many as we can kill, right? In the battle? Great victory, only losing 94 to kill 1027. Let's see how the rest of this one goes. And we're definitely going to have some issues holding on to Morocco. I didn't think it was going to be just the easiest cup, you know, cupcake walk ever. But we'll see. Venice is fighting the Ottomans right out the gate. The thing about the Barbaries is I'm going to end up hitting them too. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Okay, construction. Hispaniola needs to get that redone. That's just easy free money. You know, pretty much. That's what that guarantees us. Um... Down here, I want these guys to be fully prepared. All right. Um, 1284 remaining. A governor's residence would be nice. Gives us a little bit more tax income and repression. Um... Yeah, we have four turns left before they get to surrender. Um, we'll spend that there, and then we'll come back and we'll deal with it again, guys. So great first episode. We had a first battle, which you know is very rare for a first episode, um, and we just handled the Moroccans. So we're going to give it a couple turns um, to replace my men and replenish them. And then we'll fight. So, all right, guys. Anyways, I appreciate you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out the links in the description below. And I will see you all next time.